hello, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. This is what my journey's been all about in my last video. Specsavers, Barnard Castle, made it. I'm just filming where we're up to right now. I meant to be going to Auckland, which is through the kilometres south of here, but I did get much sleep last night. So uh, what I decided to do, uh, home is about halfway, so I'm gonna go home, put the bike in the car and drive the rest of the way. Have a good evening meal, shower, when I get home, that kind of thing. Beautiful Sunday morning. Wow. Morning. I do believe it means I'm crossing to North Yorkshire. My uh, geography is correct. Beautiful route, beautiful route. Been hard work though. And I think the gear cable might be on the way out. The chain, crank, uh, cassette are fairly, all fairly new. So I think that must be the weakest link. I'm trouble getting in and out of some gears. So that's my suspicion. So tomorrow's ride, I'm probably gonna jump on the cube I think and get this fixed sometime in the week. Another great view as I head towards Masham. Loving life today. Right over there in the middle of the picture, I don't know if you can see my finger. And uh Masham. I've been there before, right? And um, I thought it was just a sweet shop there. It turns out just around the corner is a large, large village, oh, village square. This is what cycling is about. When the weather's like this, I can just cycle all day. As long as, as long as my legs will permit me to. Lovely bear cut grass there. Camp spot. It might be a bit obvious though. <laughs> Whew. I thought the hill climbing was over with. How long was I? I tell you, this is only 100k from home. Wow, I have to come again. I think next bank holiday, I'm gonna dial in on the mileage, I think. I tell you, I can think, I can think of worse things to be doing and changing cleats on a hot summer's day like this. Ugh, these cleats I bought from uh, Amazon. Or Amazon, if you like to call it that. Cheapo ones, it's not lasted long at all. Bloody rubbish. So I'm alongside the A1. A bit of a bridle way, if we have a quick look around. Just about to go down there, back onto the tarmac again. Oh, I can tell I'm going south. Cause the wind's gone up. Ah! Can't wait to get off his bike. Like I said earlier, I'm going to jump onto the cube. So once I get in, I'm going to, have to be really quick. Deciding what I'm going to take, shuffle stuff around. Mustn't forget bike pump. <laughs> and then get in the car. Chuck well, everything in the car. Go. What a rush this weekend has been. Oh, so much fun. Oh. Really have missed you, Summer. Hope it's lovely and warm where you are. I'm trying hard to smile. So I feel a little bit sick, actually. I've been going into the wind for a while. So the air's getting into my lungs like, I don't know, is that, is that a thing? It's just starting to make me feel quite sick. Yes, I have it in my mouth. Pretend I'm Francis Cade. Oh. Ooh. Now we're going to be travelling along the uh, State Vault and Kidby Canal. I just know the wind's going to batter me along there. About 
10k to go. Not far. I haven't been this way since last year. Maybe in December. On and off furlough throughout it last year. Seems like ages ago. Let me know what you've been doing for this bank holiday weekend as well. This weather has been absolutely exceptional, hasn't it? How you've been making the most of it. I'm gonna relax for a few moments. <laughs> Here I am in Rutland, Winghall camping site. We're here for the third time now. Finally got set up, it's gone, well it must be about quarter to ten. Just about have to have some pasta and some bolognese. And I've got the beers up already, I've already had a cup I'm just about to have my second one. Uh, I'm gonna have some porridge in the morning, some coffee. I did 190 kilometers today. Check me out on Strava. Um, tomorrow, don't know what I'm doing yet. It's probably gonna be a short one around Rutland. Who knows, I'm probably gonna look at some routes tonight. I shall see you in the morning. Yesterday, I uh, got home, what was it? About half five. I was like, okay, I gotta get to Rutland before it gets set up before dark, right? So, we had about an hour after getting off the bike literally throwing everything off the bike well, not everything but most things which I needed with me today and got here just about thought right I've not forgotten anything got my bike pump this time in the tubes yep check tie levers check water bottle check yeah fantastic oh great fantastic but look what I've actually forgotten look I bought the Wahoo it's a Garmin mount I've left the Garmin at home <laughs> it's lucky I'm not doing any crazy miles today I thought I I thought if you had a Wahoo, uh, you could actually still twist into place and have it at an angle, but it won't seem to go, so it's probably going to be in my back pocket. Right, before I go, if you've got some advice on what tent would be suitable for one person, that'd be great, because look at the size of this, this is massive, this is my two-man tent. And with camping, smaller tent the better, unless you're one of these faffy people that likes had loads of headroom. <laughs> right, anyway, go down into comments and put your put your feedback in there, that'd be fantastic. There we am, my favourite cycling sort of tea room place. Why am I in a windmill? Yeah, so I've just ordered a homemade burger. It is it's about quarter to one in the morning, uh, quarter to one in the morning, quarter to one in the afternoon, I'm just about to talk into dinner. Probably going to do about 100k today, I don't know, yeah, just made it up on the fly to see where the ride takes me really. It's about to set off, I don't know how I'm going or anything, so it's kind of a bit of a bod's job. I bet you've never seen a heart rate monitor strap being used for one of these before. Look, that's holding my uh, bike pump on and I've got a bit of a strap from one of the tents as well with the pegs, so I've just put it on there. Can't feel any weirder. Bikes are so much lighter, no gloves, didn't bowl with glasses. Then I got my bike pump on there. Board to Wahoo, that's a Garmin mount, so that won't connect. What else is there? One of my cleats on my right foot so keeps it in the air pedal. He's tweaking in a little bit. <laughs> so happy days, all good. So no way I'm heading today. I can't even remember the last time I headed out into the great unknown without following a route. You know, I don't really know this area that well. I know we're heading towards Coston at the moment. So I'm gonna to try to head to the uh, Vale Beaver Amazing what you can see over hedges. <laughs> Talking of which, have you seen uh, Paul Green's latest video? He was riding a uh, a tour bike, tour T A W L. It was basically two bikes welded together. I don't know what to say. Apart from go watch it. <laughs> I'll tell you why it's a temporary solution. Listen to this. I've got all these thoughts going around in my head at the moment, like, I've got to make plans, got to make some plans for some campsites and things. I think I'm going to be busy this week, planning this summer. But what am I going to be doing now the TCR's cancelled? Hmm, where are we going to ride? What am I going to ride? Who am I going to ride with? Which kind of makes me think, 
should I appeal to you guys? Is anybody here who would like to come for some epic journeys and join me? Camping weekend, wild camping. But that's nothing quite, quite as extreme as I normally would do, but you know, if you're for anything over this summer, perhaps you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone, do something a bit different, just let me know what you're up to. We could hook up at a cafe stop somewhere. Oh, headwind. Oh, no. What's going on? I guess route planning has its benefits. Because ordinarily, I wouldn't be going down the A1 at Joe Garage Way on a bank holiday Monday like I just did. <laughs> and it was a bit more than a leap across as well. Probably about a mile. But a nice fast mile down the A1M. Bank holiday Monday. Bloody rattling. <laughs> I'm going to have to go visit one day. What a beautiful view that is. A lovely clear day as well. Showed up at Cafe LA and as you can see it's very busy. Beaver Castle, off over there, in the left, over my left shoulder. Now you can't come to Beaver Castle without going up Terrace Hill, one of Simon Warren's top 100 climbs. Well, you can, I can't. <laughs> Sweating my cobs off now, is what I would say. Sweating my cobs off. I'm glad I'm not fully loaded. God, I'd be dying. into my lowest gear so I will ask if you're not subscribed already please hit subscribe I'd really really appreciate it it's been great sharing all my journey over the last two and a half years here yeah, I thought about doing Lions and Jolly Groats I thought about doing Paris Brest Paris want to see Cheddar Gorge when it's pass go check it out Well, that's it, folks. Nearly back at the car. See you later. Bye-bye.